during your college life you you have studied biology and you have studied the chemistry now uh, you know that what is biology and what is the chemistry and both are quite different from each other though both are uh, the branches of science now in our today's lecture we are going to combine both these biology biology and chemistry into the biochemistry or you can say um, I am trying to tell you that biochemistry is a combination of biology and chemistry. So in our today's lecture, we are going to uh, study that what is biochemistry and why here in the medicine we study biochemistry and how it is important being a medical student to study the biochemistry. So let's start our lecture. Biochemistry, as I told you, uh, it is a combination or it lies somewhere between the biology and the chemistry. If you just look at this word biochemistry, biochemistry, break it down into two words. That is the one is the bio and the second is chemistry. So this bio means life and the chemistry, you know, it is a study of the chemical substances. So how can you conclude bio, bio and the chemistry? It is basically the study of the chemicals inside the living organisms. Or you can say all the chemicals uh, that are present inside the living organisms, all the chemical reactions that are taking place inside the living organism, the study of all of these things is known as the biochemistry. So we are actually uh, combining the biology, uh, the structure of the cells, the functions of the living organisms with the um, chemistry that is the chemicals that are present inside the body of the human beings. Now, um, when we talk about the life, we, we can talk about it at a higher level and we can also talk about it at a lower level. Like when we talk about a, a lower level or, or a higher level, you can say that uh, in life, uh, there is the human beings, there are other vertebrates, there are animals, there are insects. This is a higher level that we are talking about. Or coming down, there is the cell. Cell and organelles and the tissues. So this is basically the study of the cells, the study of the organelles, the study of the organ system. This all comes under the uh, heading of the biology. Now, if we just come down, this cell is actually composed of different smaller particles or smaller molecules, that is the electrons, protons, and all of these things. And we study these, chem these protons, these electrons, atoms, molecules in the chemistry. Now, if we, if we come a little more down to this level, there comes even smaller particles that we study in the physics. So you see how we are from, when we are moving from higher to lower level, uh, the uh, area of study is changing. Now, uh, when we are at a very lower level, it is the uh, the uh, we deal it with the physics, and after uh, above that is the chemistry. Now, between the chemistry and the biology, there is the biochemistry. So you can say between the atoms and the molecules, and between uh, and the cell. There is the biochemistry, where we are talking about the molecules uh, that are, are not um, at lower level at, or even the higher level. Or you can say that we are talking about the macromolecules, like we are talking about the carbohydrates, proteins, nucleic acids that are combining up to form the genetic material. So basically, in the biochemistry, we study about the macromolecules or the macrochemicals that are present inside the body, how they break down, how they react with an, another uh, chemical, and how they combine to form any other substances. When I talk about our uh, body, uh, human body, um, we can say that we are all made up of uh, biochemical uh, processes or chemical substances or chemical uh, material or we can say that we are our body is uh, just like a biochemistry our uh, existence the structure with which we are made up of the processes that are taking place in inside our body even our feeling they are they all involve biochemistry like explanation is here the chemistry of love 
the love is basically a feeling that you feel uh, that you experience it's uh, you can say it's an intense feeling of affection that include attachment attraction and other such feelings now all of these feelings are even due to some chemicals that are present inside your body including the, the, that are called as the hormones hormones like oxytocin vasopressin and uh, epinephrine norepinephrine that are released uh, they are basically the chemicals that are released in, inside your body and they are responsible for the strong feelings that can be love hatred and any other kind of feelings so now you can see that biochemistry is even involved in, in your feelings so likewise biochemistry is involved in many other processes like the food we eat uh, it is break down into smaller particle and the energy is produced that we use in our daily chores when you are studying uh, when you are doing any other work you are basically consuming energy that is produced by the biochemical processes so that's why it is very important to study biochemistry uh, to learn about the human body not limited to this also biochemistry is important because uh, it also tells us about the phys physiological functions of the body and it also help us to understand the disease condition of the body by uh, when we know when we better know about this chemical we can conclude that what is the problem like in the disease state there can be an increase in these uh, chemical uh, levels or there can be a decrease in these chemical level there may be a presence or absence of enzyme that can be responsible for a disease so we can say that this biochemistry is uh, relating with the pharmacology with the pathology physiology and other branches of medicines as well that's why it is very important to study the biochemistry here in the medicines